Hold on. No, I thought I was waiting for you. What up, fools? Okay, is that good? Is that good to me? Should we? She hold on. I'm covering my screen. I, don't I know had what she's to. Doing. I had to touch she's my playing, screen. She's playing with stuff. We got two phones going live at the same time. <laughs> we can raise this up a little bit. That good? That's good. All right, guys. So, so, so today is very offensive. Um, I, I normally have some hot takes. So does she. Uh, but I'm normally offensive on my own. Uh, now we're going to be offensive with the help of a, an adult board game. Uh, so we have. Like you could just. We got this hot takes. Read through a lot of this stuff. Uh, it's super offensive <laughs> without my help or the whiskey. Uh, so we figured that we would just make it as uh, offensive as possible with the whiskey. So no. Do we, Here's what's gonna happen. It's gonna be a, a card. We're each gonna pull one. So I'll pull a card. I'll give my hot take. You guys give your feedback in the comment sections, and hopefully I don't get banned from YouTube for life. <laughs> uh, we couldn't try and pull this one off on my main channel. It would have been very bad. I'm using my main channel. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes, you are. So at least someone can take the right hit. Okay. Uh, all right. So I'll go first. Let me pull a card. Don't peek. There. What do you mean? I mean, you peeked before you pulled it from the thing. How am I supposed to know what it is if I don't peek at it? Okay, so now what would I do? You have to grab it and then look, not look while I wasn't going to put it back. I was committed. Who cares? Sit down, please. I don't know. I got something right there. Okay, like All right, cool. <laughs> All right. Yeah, sit. 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 <laughs> okay. Put, just pull your card. I can't focus. The death penalty shouldn't exist. Uh, for you people that think the death penalty shouldn't exist, I'd like for you to do me a favor. I'd like for you to grab a blindfold, find the very busiest intersection, and go play in it. Um, if it's good for the goose, it's good for the gander. We don't cops like going, we don't like cops going around tasing people, right? The death penalty should exist, one hundred percent. Because if you kill someone, they should be fine with your life being taken. You should have no qualms about it. I don't care. <laughs> Especially if you're, a, if you're a News Now pedo, fry them all. Oh, my God. So the death, the death penalty should absolutely exist. And with that, I think you should have a little whiskey. Sure. Okay. <laughs> You're telling it. You guys agree? Uh, put a one in the chat if you think the death penalty should exist. Put a two if you think I it should. I normally disagree with you on that, uh, on everything, but I agree with you on that. Yeah, you agree with me on that one? Yeah. I think death penalty should exist. Yeah. All right. Okay, but most of the time I will just probably disagree with you. Okay. Because I'm a West Coaster and you're an East Coaster. Right. I think, look, one, everybody thinks it should exist in my chat. Yeah. All right. I'm not peeking. Okay, good. Can I peek now? Yeah, go ahead. All right, my turn, guys. The smell of coffee is bad. I think the smell of coffee is amazing. I think it's yeah. delightful. I, I do, too. These aren't really I'm hot takes. I'm trying to wait for you to, like, No, these aren't hot takes. The, the takes that we saw earlier, really, really bad takes. Like, women <laughs> should have equal rights. And I was like, ah! <laughs> everyone's going to die! I think they should have equal rights. Exactly. See, this could be fun. Um, however, <laughs> we're getting the asshole. we're getting the PG stuff. <laughs> okay. So let's uh, let's let's try from this and pile. And with that, I'm gonna have some whiskey. Let's try it in this pile. Um, if time travel existed, then changing something from the past would change everything about the future. I mean, no, I think that's bullshit. I think that's bullshit. Because I don't think it's bullshit. It wouldn't change everything. I think it would change a lot of things. It, but it, no, no, this says, would it change everything? It could. It wouldn't No, it doesn't. No, but it could, though. No, it doesn't. I if, mean, if, so if a sheep, if a sheep was taking a shit on one side of the fence. It could I then went, might I went take back a and, shit on the opposite side of the fence. The sheep was taking shit and then I went and put it on the other side of the fence. JFK would have still been present. It might not have even needed to take a shit. Doesn't matter. JFK would have still been present. Bullshit. You're bull Hopefully we get to a little bit better. Sit down, please. Go ahead. Yes. You. I'm talking to you, by the way. Sit down. Be humble. 
He's not talking to me. I'm already sitting. I would rather live on a private island than a penthouse in my dream city. No, that I would disagree with that. I would love to live in a penthouse in my dream city. Why would I want to live on a private island where I'd have to, like, do a bunch of shit? See, I'm fucking bougie. So I would want to live in a pot private island just so I could say, my servants need to care for me. Yeah, but I could still do that in a penthouse in, in the city of my dreams. Yeah. These are medi very medium. Oh, these are lame. These, these are Come lame. on. Where's the, where's the good ones? Come on. Maybe we need more whiskey. I'm not even baths are better than come on. Uh, I mean, I'm just gonna go what through. What is that? It. Baths are better than showers. Like it's, we're here for hot takes. Okay, okay come I'm on. I'm just gonna toss them if they suck, guys. Okay, but not on the floor though. Like the Napoleon complex <laughs> is a real thing. <laughs> th th this is true, and there's a quarter of a man that can attest to that. By the way. Um, and most <laughs> most police officers really any any small thing what like about a little Haller, Haller <coughs> any little feller <laughs> <coughs> exactly <Zinia. coughs> any little thing even like little chihuahuas and just, <laughs> that so yes uh, when when you're a quarter of a man uh, you do have these Napoleon things. Um, <laughs> So, yeah, go ahead. That one's acceptable. We're just going to skip over the ones that are trash. <laughs> you shouldn't hook up on a first date. Oh. I think you should. If you I, want to. For, for me, you should. For the guy, you should hook up on a first date. I think even for the girl, if she wants to hook up on the first date, she should be able to. Well, here's the difference. I would if love a, to hook up on a, the first date. If a girl hooks up on a first date, she's a hoe. No, 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 If no. a guy hooks That's up on a first no. date... A guy looks up and they're like, so here's the thing, right? A girl goes back to her girlfriend and they're like, did you bang Brad? And I'm going to say, and hell yeah, like, I fucking did. And then they're going to be like, you fucking slut! <laughs> and you go to your buddies and they're like, hey, did you did you bang, bang Kunisha? Kunisha? Whatever. And, and I'm like, yeah. They're going to be like, yeah, man, you did it again, dog. Um, so, but, but here's, so, oh, taco. So I, I do <laughs> believe awesome. that for the sake of penises everywhere, and that women should give it up on the first date. Stop being prudes. Okay. I I feel like that's fucked up for you to even say because if a woman wants to hook up on the first date, she should she should be able to. If she does, I agree with you because how else that? is the guy gonna go home satisfied? Well, how else is the woman gonna go home satisfied? Well, that's, you think she's like, well, not, that's less of important. I think it's very important for a woman to go home satisfied. I think it's more important. Listen, you know, not, no, 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 no. It's more important for the woman to no. go home satisfied. Yeah, you know who it's most important she might not for? Come back for a you second. know who it's most important for? Whoever finishes first. You guys just keep that in mind. <laughs> Have you had a good time? Really, only matters for who's like I'm uh, done. No, but think about and this. My whoever, turn. whoever finishes. Finished first All on right, the first here we date. Go. Oh my god, he's that's a stupid one. Suck. That's a stupid uh, one. Oh, he's that's getting me all fired up. That's here a stupid one. Go. Sorry guys, I gotta go throughout. There's a lot of stupid ones. Why are you picking all the stupid ones? That's a stupid one. Yeah, that's a stupid one. Oh my god. I, guys, they were all good before. Let's. Girls should get extra sick days for their periods. <laughs> I agree that they should if they're bad. Well, no, no. You I, don't have to deal with the period, so you don't understand what it's listen, like. Listen, if you're getting the same pay as me, then I want to sit there. Excuse same me. Pay as you. I'm going to finish, you. and then you can speak. Because you finish no, no, first. No, no, Because you like no, to no, finish first. Because it's my Everyone card. Everyone heard that you like to finish first. it's my first. card. So girls should get extra sick days for their periods. She thinks girls should get extra sick days for their periods. Listen, <laughs> remember fucking suffrage? 1909? Girls got all the same rights as guys, so that means guys have the same rights as girls. I'm telling so you one thing. That have you deserve to have a period? If you get sick days for your period, then I want sick days for your period as well. So that's fine. You take the days, but you get nothing extra because you have equal rights and you're the same as a man. And and that's that's by the way, you can see that in workplace hiring. The the there's only about a 15 difference, 15 cent difference in pay gaps between men and women, and that's only because women take off time for maternity at a higher rate. So, this is the, that's all I'm saying is, girls should get extra sick days for their periods. Fine, take as many as you want. But just remember, for every day you take, you're gonna work a day for me when you come back. 
I think you're ridiculous, and I think everybody else agrees with you. Put a one. Look, big man says hell no. Put a one in the chat if you think AFA is right, as usual. Put a two in the chat if you're with Nanner. Hey, look, everybody's with me because I have 30 people watching me, and you have 23 people watching you. I can just go live on my main channel. You have bigger sub count on oh, your backup no. channel than I have on my main. <laughs> look, everybody. Andre says one. They're saying one. That was funny. no, no, no. Big man's putting a bunch of ones. Everybody's putting two. No, not everyone. Most there's, there's people are three, putting two. Big man needs to shut the fuck up. There's three twos on. So big no, go big man. Go ahead, your turn. No, look. It's mostly ones, honey. Sorry. Mostly twos. That's not. You're, if I go back and count them, then you have to sit out three rounds. How many twos did Sweet Tea okay. just put? Go ahead, pick your card. You're just ridiculous. <clears throat> you think this one's hot enough? I don't know. Go ahead. We're 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 getting we're kicking it up. Okay, everybody, super chat me. I'm drinking. What did you just do? What did you just? I you made, made a face. A face. At you the made people. a face. Yes. You made a face at the people about me. Wow, everything's about you. See, she needs an extra day off for a period. She already thinks everything's about her. Jesus Christ. We know who's not getting any tonight. Me or him. It's fine. It's not the first date. We already went over this. <laughs> as long as I finished first, I didn't finish last. You guys remember that. <laughs> oh, that's stupid. Okay. Hold on. Nice people finish last. Of course they fucking ah, do. It is my turn oh, to go first. Right. Know your fucking role. Just go there. Know your fucking role. Stop running Shut me a sock. Up. You're running your fucking sock. What? Are you fucking kidding me right yes, now? Sir. Are you stuck Are you on stuck a stupid, stupid day? <laughs> <laughs> nice people finish last. I believe that that's more than likely probably true. Because um, he's an asshole and he always finishes first. Isn't that yeah. right? Well, there's a book. Read it. It's called Assholes Finish First. And they do. And I finish last because I'm nice. And you're an asshole. Okay. All right. Okay, your turn. Next. <laughs> what the <laughs> Hey, Joey. <laughs> hey, Devos. You saying hi to your people? Because I'm fucking saying hi to my people. Hey, Burlap. Hey, Joey. That's stupid. <laughs> Don't forget, if you love me more, super chat me. <laughs> Okay, I, w I was going to glance over this one, but I'm not going to simply for American history. <laughs> a British accent automatically makes you more attractive. We were surrounded by fucking assholes with British accents, and we didn't think none of them were attractive. We kicked them all up. Having an accent does not make you more attractive. I think our it friend, makes you more attractive. Our friend Farlap is from uh, Australia, and he talks like this. Good eye, you bunch of cunts. I'm from Australia. Look at me. I've got a dingo and a wallaby. I've also got a pointy fosters. Has anyone seen my pet marsupial? <laughs> and I'm not like, wow, that's just so much better than my accent. So, yeah. Sit. Come on. Sit. Thank you. Next. Next. Okay. Thank you. Next. <laughs> Next. Ah. Hold on. Okay. You were about to speak up on that. Oh my god, this is great. This what is, is great. All right. Pineapple is delicious. Is a delicious pizza topping. Yes, the fuck it is. Yes, the fuck it is. <coughs> That's all I have to say about that. Yeah, I agree. It is. It, pineapple is pretty good. On pizza? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I thought that you would like say no. No. Like you're all Italian so, and shit. You shouldn't be so judgmental. Right. Okay. Oh, look, they like me more. Aw, oh, thanks, guys. The drinking age should be lowered. <laughs> Number... Sorry, she's blocking the... I'm trying the to camera. say thank you, but I can't scroll up. Hello, whoever... Thank you and hello to whoever. Okay, thank you to... Devos. Devos, yeah. Let's just go oh, back no, no, no. and glow with glow. Oh, thank you, glow. Thanks, glow. <laughs> Okay, so, drinking age should be lowered. Very, very simple. I think the United States government is a bunch of cunts in the first place to think that they can restrict people's rights. Secondly, I think that if the United <laughs> States government 
would be willing to ask you to die for your country at the age of 18, but tell you that you're not responsible enough to have a drink until 21. I think that's a bunch of democratic liberal bullshit that they can shove straight up their ass and regurgitate through their mouth. Thirdly, thirdly, just today, I saw a, I was in, I'm in California. I saw a three-year-old with a Glock 19 throwing up gang signs. No, he did not. He was crip walking and he was drinking a fucking 40 ounce. You were and, right. the and the police drove by and they didn't want none of that. So there's that. Who thinks that Josh is lying right now? <laughs> I just seen him. He was going he today? was go he was going like this and he was throwing up the fives and the deuces and the and the and the birds and the canaries and he seen to that guys. He's he was he was and they were they were stepping to him. I, I, they were I, stepping I to him. I think that we all need to point out real quick that Jody Who sent me a super chat saying that she sent you one earlier that she now regrets. Oh, thank you so thank much, you. Jody. <laughs> thank you for your regret. Welcome to the club. Every woman I know regrets it. Thank you. Did you read yours? I, I See, I finished first. Nice guys finished last. We had Wiener Schnitzel. Yeah, he's going to be fucking gassy, and I'm going to have to live with it. Hold on, guys. Finding one. Ah! No, wait, no. Everybody does that. Who thinks that? Aha! Okay. All right. All right. You read it, didn't you? Not yet. All right. Physical attraction is the most important part of a relationship. Um, it's not the most important, but it is the first... It is the usually the first thing that catches somebody onto the other person. <laughs> so it might be most important in the sense that if you don't think someone's attractive, you're just not going to even go for it. Oh, sorry. I fall asleep. I'm going to smack you. <coughs> Put a one in the chat if I could smack you. <coughs> Did you answer? What? You're going to answer? You're going to put your input in there? Because you always just fucking run your suck. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so. <clears throat> you uh, okay there? Hot take. Um. So anyways, guys, what were we saying? Uh, yes, physical attraction is all that matters. All that stupid mumbo-jumbo horse shit. Oh my God, I just locked my eyes upon you and my soul flew free. You sound fucking stupid. That's what your mouth said after the first date, but when you were across the bar, you'd like, holy shit. She looks tighter than a frozen Ziploc bag. <laughs> That's exactly what the fuck happened. And if you're saying anything else, you're just trying to get your papaws on them. Uh, ask Joey Surreal what the papaw is. So you're hey, saying I've that got my thongs off to the pub coming. Uh, good day, cunt. <laughs> Are you saying that that's what went through your mind when you first saw me? I was like, let me get some of that. Because I love her and she's got a great personality. This is what I was You didn't saying. even know my personality. I did, I did. I was no, able to... that's why physical attraction is the most important. Because if you're not physically attracted, then you're never even going to walk across that fucking room. So you do think it's the most important. At so first. now you're at turning first. back around. I see. I mean, see, I don't got to do much. You should, you should really just appreciate the much. fact that I thought you were sexy as hell. Because otherwise... Hold on. Be so oh, nice you were right. You got upset? Animal testing should be banned. Um, for all you people at home that are like, oh my God, did you even know that this Neutrogena cream that's supposed to reduce my butthole acne <laughs> was tested on a chinchilla? What, what the fuck? Here's what I want you to do. I want you to take your firstborn kid. I want you to bring that little fucker down to the animal testing factory and just offer to exchange, will you? Of course fucking not. So can't have your cake and eat it fucking too. You want your fucking butthole cream to not leave a rash and you don't want to substitute your kid? Well, it's going to be a fucking chinchilla. I think that there's a difference between animal testing and animal cruelty. I mean, we got to test on Listen, something. and who's never... Have you, like, not for nothing, but if someone was like, hey, I got a rhinoceros with a pair of tits, you want to see it? I'd be like, fucking yeah. Let me see that shit. 
not talking about that's not animal cruelty. No, that's the animal tell who who knows what they grow off their back. Hey guys, real quick. What's the only animal with a dick on its back? I think everyone knows this. What's the only animal with a dick on its back? Let's see if anyone puts it in chat. What's the only animal with a dick on its back? I think you need a little more whiskey. I can't I can't tolerate you right now. You're too a sorry. turtle? Nope. Nope. Yes, Kathy, a police horse. <laughs> the only animal with a dick on its back is a police horse. <laughs> Go ahead, Nana. <laughs> okay. That was a good one. Oh! What? Water is wet. You know, I disagree. And I'll, and I'll, yeah, I'll tell you why. Okay. <laughs> Water doesn't... Yeah. No, maybe, maybe I won't no, I, no. No. I'm not going to expand on that. You guys can use your uh, imaginations. Pull, you pull you disagree card. that water is wet. Yeah. Pull, pull a card. Pull a card. So, so quick question. If I jump okay, in water fucking... water is wet. If I, I jump in... make it dirty. Shut the fuck up. Okay. Okay, keep going. Right. I was going to say, if, okay. I, if I jump in <laughs> water and I come out, then... Uh, um. <laughs> I decided not to make it dirty, in which case water is wet. I am respectfully going to not do this card. Women are wet. Because half of my audience uh, is probably that. Well, let me see. It's the Android app. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. We're doing this. We're doing this. You can save that one. I love all my users. Because he's afraid that most of his users are Apple users because Apple's better. No. No, but if you can't. I'm not. I I I chose not to do that one. I'm choosing to do it. Then you can save it for later. I didn't pass my turn. I'm making shit up. I didn't go yet. Apple is better than Android. You want to keep talking? I'm not ready yet. I thought, um, Fucking just making shit up as she goes. You definitely didn't finish first here. What are you doing? Are f- Come on. Trying to find a card that's decent to talk you, about. You need to have another drink. These are fucking stupid. <laughs> here we go. Here, here we go. This one's gonna be... Because I, I got all around with it. <laughs> Tampons should be free. Oh, God. Tampons should be free. The fuck should it be free? Let's talk about how it would be free. <laughs> Taxes. Okay? I bought a fucking phone to bring you guys great content. And I paid a shit fuck ton in taxes. I go to the movies. I pay fucking taxes. But you know what the phone store and the movies does? Provides me entertainment. Never has a period provided me entertainment. Ever. A period has always made me fucking miserable. I'm not going to pay extra taxes to make fucking period plugs free. You sound like, Not going to happen. You sound like you're on your man period right now. That's number one. Number two, my tampons are always free because I never go and buy them for myself. I send him out to fucking go do it. Listen, the only time... I, I'll tell you one thing. It got me. That goddamn commercial where the, the boat's sinking and the guy just plugs it up. That was some moving shit. That was some <laughs> Nicholas Sparks pussy, <laughs> you just said pussy pussy comparison type shit. Yes, comparison type shit. But I will tell you, tampons should be free. So should fucking condoms. Okay? Well, I agree with that. Condoms are free. You don't really need them. Are they free? Yeah. Where? I mean, Where in the fuck do you some, see a free condom? I always the, have to pay for exactly, that. Exactly. It's the one you don't use. Pay for it later. Well, then we're going to be paying later, babe. Great oh, news. shit. I fucking told you the news on a live stream. Go ahead. My turn. All right. I am. You, you want this card no, for no, later? No, no, no. I don't want it. <laughs> I don't want it. Okay. All right. This says... It's totally okay to pee in the shower. I don't think that it is because there is a spot. To, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. There's a spot to pee it next to the shower before you get in the shower. Why would you then? Like, why? Why couldn't you just pee and then go in the shower? Like, that's not fucking okay. Because I'm an alpha and I'm marking my goddamn fucking territory. And let me in tell you something. Shower? I'm 
I'm standing okay. in a giant toilet. You just said you're like, I'm no, standing hold on, in a giant toilet. I'll tell no, you what. Hold on a second. I pee you, in your shower several you just, times. You just said, oh my God. First of all, you said you're an alpha, so you get to pee to mark your territory, mark on your territory. Uh, what the fuck are you saying in, in life? Like, do you mark on fucking people too? I piss on cops all the I'm, time. I'm your fucking girlfriend. I think I didn't piss I, on you. You better not. If ask. we were in the shower, though, uh, no, I would have went. I would. I would. I would pee on, on your leg. And, and no. if you're like, is that warm? I'd be like, yeah, the water's warm. No, I mean, it's not wet though, according to her. So that's However, what the fuck happened the other day. You're a fucking listen, nasty piece of shit. Listen, man. I'll tell. Here's the, the difference. You know why now. a shower is better to pee in than a toilet? Because you pee in the toilet, the water goes down. There's not a lot of cleaning product in there. Listen, you pee in a shower, it's surrounded by way more water, and then it's got shampoo, it's got conditioner, it's got Irish Springs. You're fucking it's nasty. got it's got the high content. What is it that makes the vaginas not smell that stuff? The PO, pH balance, and all that shit. The soap. The yeah. fucking soap. Yeah, that stuff. You use fucking soap. Nobody it goes in, no, no, and then, and then it makes the shower, the shower even cleaner. And 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 the cleanest place is a dog's mouth. And my dog licks pee, not mine, but its own. Who's, so that that somehow works. In how? The like, why would she lick her own pee? Have you seen her lick her own pee? I did. Yeah. That's fucking nasty. Earlier today, she. Oh in a my bottle. god! <laughs> no. No, and you I was let like, her? No, I just want to see. She's a highly you trained want... dingo. And I'm a highly trained dingo handler. <laughs> and she knows how to fucking do everything under the sun. I figured she'd be smart enough to not drink her own piss. She smelled like R. Kelly's sheets. Oh, my God. How do you know what they smell like? Because it was 99 cents. <laughs> <laughs> um... Okay, here we go. This one goes out to M Star. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Everyone has a soulmate. Uh, that that that's not true. Um, you you can be mentally unstable and believe that you have a soulmate, and you just need to to uh, insert as many penises into you as possible, uh, and because each dick is oh, thanks, Brandon Mitchell. Oh, thank you. <laughs> each dick is about three and a half to six inches closer. To that soulmate? No, not everyone has a soulmate. If you're lucky enough to meet someone that you can tolerate for more than five fucking minutes, which I was lucky enough to to get that jackpot. Uh, but no, not everyone has a fucking soulmate. And if you're out there like, oh my god, I was just crushing on this one chick. We never actually hung out, but I love her so much. Oh, she stopped answering my phone calls, and it's weird, because when I call her on a blocked number, it rings like nine times. When I call her on my number, it goes right to voicemail. There must be something wrong with private numbers, not just my number. Like, <laughs> no, she doesn't like you. Thank you. Next, next. <laughs> I'd, I'd like to circle back on why that went out to M Star, M -Star specifically. I think, I think we the people should know that. Oh, because... She falls in love with everything that she fucking looks at, including Rick Crude. And I'll, Bing tell you, Bing I'll Bing. tell you one thing. This live stream has legs. Rick Crude does not. He lost <laughs> one of them recently. Um, but it's funny that, no, it's just funny because, like, him and M Star bang, mm -hmm. and he's a he's an activist hater, and I just thought that was funny. Uh, but everyone has a soulmate. Just ask her. Uh, we'll catch you in the next one. That's the reason I stopped today. Just no, kidding. Stay tuned. It, we have a lot more. <laughs> <sighs> well, I told you, these are hot takes. Takes. Oh, oh, wait a second. Okay. Workplace dating is appropriate. I think that it is because we work together and uh, we do more than date. Yeah. Yeah. You agree with that? Yeah. Okay. So if I work with somebody else, is it appropriate if I date them too? Of course. What about sweet tea? You are a Mormon. What about sweet tea? And I'll, I'll help facilitate that. <laughs> sweet tea. Sweet tea. No, with sweet tea. Joe, Joey, 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 Joey. Papa, 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 Papa. Uh, Joey. Um, I said I was working with sweet tea, not the other way around. Oh. All right, moving on. <laughs> okay, sweet tea's on the down low. <laughs> she is on the down low. Okay, keep going. 
Oh, oh, you should delete your ex's nudes from your phone. You better have fucking deleted all of your ex's nudes from from everywhere. Yeah, I and mean, well, I don't have any place to go. I mean, where, where do you think I have, like, a, a hidden SD chip in my left-hand pocket at all times? You were just asking for a fucking SD chip today at T-Mobile. Let's let's make this take super hot, okay? Um, only keep oh Twyla, thank, thank you. Twyla. You. you should keep the uh, <laughs> the your ex's nudes on your phone so you can try and use them to make your new girlfriend feel guilty to do the same thing. So for no other reason than to be like, hey, why don't you take some nude pictures for me? She's gonna be like. Uh, no, I ain't no friggin' slot. I just gonna like, take pictures of me. They could wind up on, like, whatever girlfriend sites exist nowadays when you're not old like me. And I'll be like, oh, yeah, really? Well, call Linda took this picture. Don't you want to be cool like her? So, yes. Why do you keep um, coming out with some weird extravagant names that I've never heard before except... Never mind. Continue. Thank you. Yeah. So yeah, use them only for uh, peer pressure. Thank you. <laughs> Come sock says I keep my ex's pictures to use when I film my sock. That's nasty. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Thank you, Twyla, for the super chat. By the way, thank you so much. <laughs> okay. See, so you know what's crazy? No one super chatted me. Because no one wants to attach any dollar donation to the highly offensive shit that's coming out. No, no, no. What it is is what it is <laughs> is they love me more. I need some more booze. That's your problem. And Did you want to pick a card? After I pour my booze. Little miss, little miss, can't be wrong. <laughs> okay. <coughs> All right. <clears throat> you see, this is I knew this would go sideways. What went sideways? Oh, it's headed there. It's going downhill because I am giving zero. It's going down, down, zero babe. fucks are being given. <coughs> God, these cards suck. What happened to the ones we read the other day? You want that one for later? No. No. That's stupid. <laughs> fucking dumb. Ooh, big man audits. M star comment. Fucking mint. You got that, right. M star. Hey, thank you, big she, man. She spreads the. She, you know what, M Star and uh, and and Rick Crude have in common when it comes to legs. She spreads them and he loses them. Uh, let's go ahead. God, oh my God. Just kidding, really this like her. Really fucked so much up. respect for her. This By the way, Banana Rander just passed five thousand subs. You know what I'm saying? Oh, thank uh, you. I did. I did. Thank you. Oh, hey, thank you, Shauna, for the banana sticker. Woohoo! Slippery banana. That was the slippery <laughs> sound effect. <laughs> Right, <laughs> this is the sound that the slippery banana makes. No, right. that's a queef. That is not a queef. That's yes. a slurp. That's when that's you're slurping queef. the slippery banana. No, that was still a queef. <laughs> no, it was not a queef at all. Right. I think everybody saw yeah. my lips. Rapidly queef. moving on. Oh my god. It's... Oh, sorry, I thought you were ready. I am ready. Okay, good. Okay. I would sacrifice one person in this group to save the rest, yes. And I think everybody knows I would throw Josh yeah. under the fucking bus before anybody else to make sure all of you survived. You're welcome. Okay. Okay. I am not going to go in the same direction and say that I would sacrifice Anna for all of you. This um, isn't your question or card. I disagree. I think that I would uh, sacrifice yourself, C Cindy, News Now wow. 702, for literally anything. Just because <laughs> if she got pink eye from dropping her phone in a toilet and then touching it to her face in a public place and then threw up on a National Historic Landmark. She did. And I think that anything else bad that happened to her would be funny. I'm sorry. She's watching. We love you. Thank you for your donation and your membership. <laughs> Josh was born under the bus, so he can easily survive that. That's true, Money Josh. can buy you happiness. It's a song by Chris Jansen. It can buy you a boat. It can buy you a truck to pull it. It can buy you a Yeti 110 ice down with some silver bullets. Um, 
money absolutely can buy you happiness, and I'll tell you, I'll, I'll tell you why. Okay, hurry um, up. So if you're, no, I'm not gonna hurry up. It's my fucking time, <laughs> Ashley. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Ashley. And then uh, as soon as you're so, done, I have something to say on that. If I cared more, I would ask. So money can absolutely buy you happiness, and here's why. If you're sleeping under a fucking bridge and you don't fucking have anything been there, um, you're not happy. And then if you had a card you could swipe that had unlimited funds and then you bought everything you needed, you are now happy. Money can buy you happiness. If you're such a wealthy, rich prick that money can't make you happy, revert to our first conversation where we talked about a blindfold and playing in a busy intersection. Thank you, Rapidly Moving Oh, it's, No, it's my turn. It's my turn. I have something to say on that. Oh, it's not your so, question. Just shut the fuck up. Well, you get an extra, shut the fuck up wait, for a minute. You get no, an extra no, no, day on. off for having a period, so you can skip this No, question. I have something to say. Shut and then when you have your okay. period, your okay. tampons are free because <laughs> they increase my taxes. Hey, okay, I think it's very clear that money can buy happiness just for the sheer fact that you've been like Mr. Debbie the fuck downer over there being like Mr. Pessimistic Asshole, and you haven't had any super chats. I have been happy and giggly and even laughing at the dumb fucking shit that you say. And I'm getting super chats. I'm clearly happier than you. And I don't know if it's because of the fact that I've had more whiskey or that I'm actually making money and you're not. But I, I feel happy. 20, 25. <laughs> Guys, she's made 30 bucks in super chats. Okay? I want to know. I really want to test this. Someone please put it. I'll do it myself. No, 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 no. Send me a send No, me no, super listen. Shh. Someone please send me a $50 super chat because. Or me. If you do that, then I will have made instantly more money than her, and I want to tell you if I am then all of a sudden more happy than her. So that would be great if someone can do that. You could send me. No, no. Listen, I can chat, and I'll be even happier than I am right now. Or I'll just go live on my main channel, and then I'll just tell everyone that you're not. That you're a. That you're a mean American. Why do you always? I want to let everyone know that. Why do you have to? Why do you have to always That you want to have sex on the first date? Uh, yeah, with you for sure. And the last and all of the ones in between. It is my turn, you asshole. You just and went. secondly, no, I didn't. I answered your fucking question. Then maybe you shouldn't have, and you should have mind your own business. No, I don't do that. Whatever, go. Oh my god. And I I missed the point that I was trying to say because you were just being an asshole. Uh, you like a broken needle, you're missing the point. <laughs> See, people are telling you to be nice. Austin, I don't know what she's talking about. I'm being nice. She's triggering me. <laughs> that's, that's a funny one. That's a funny one. <laughs> Beauty pa pageants for children should be banned. And I think that that, I, I agree. I think that they should be banned. I think they're fucked up. Unless for the, unless the child wants to be in a beauty pageant. I don't fucking know, man. Do you want to do this one? No. Are you just saying no? Because you're saying no. Are you just saying I think no parents, you want to argue with I you? think parents dressing their kids up like sex toys is fucked up. Who, Moving on. Wait, wait a second. Is it because they bedazzle them? They do all sorts of shit, oh. poor kids. And put glitter on them? Guys, here's a good one. And this is this is tough. Um, no one sent you a $50 super chat. Men have it harder than women. And I agree with that. Let's see. I agree Does with it really that. say that? Yeah, oh. men, men have it harder than no, women. No, 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 it says men have okay. it easier than women. What does it say? It says easier. Nothing in here says hard. And, and in fact, sometimes oh. the men don't get fucking hard. And then it's, it is... It's, it's, well, then, then the card would be blue, not red. Oh, that's true. Okay, uh, so, okay, so let me... Men have it easier than women. I, I agree with that. So men have it... They, they <coughs> men have it easier than women. Um, that's not true. Uh, oh, not for a moment does a man have anything easier than a woman... Because women Wait, made this. Any women? <coughs> women made this big deal about oh suffrage. We need to have equal rights. Oh, blah 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 blah. Um, so she's like, it's even hard for me to devil's advocate that one. So that sounded really bad. Like I even hate myself right now. If I was watching myself, I'd be like, you fucking maggot. You're an um, asshole. But I gotta roll with it. You gotta because you're the pessimist Shit. in this situation. All right. Yeah. Listen. Super you challenge. wanted equal rights. Now you fucking get it. Women have everything just as equal as men. That's what you wanted. This you got it. This has nothing to do with equal rights. Yeah, men have it. E men have it easier than women. They don't. It's equal. They have it the same. Moving on. <laughs> Moving the fuck on. Hey, Nima. <laughs> hey, Nima. <laughs> we have people.
be Blanco, you know. <clears throat> I'm not mentioning that on a live stream. I'm going to get demonetized and, and shadow stuffed. <sighs> ah, using Talks paper straws. Stuff. Hey, Cindy. <laughs> using paper straws is pointless if you're still drinking from the plastic cup. I agree. I think it's fucking stupid. Listen. Oh my God! You're just gonna argue with me for the for the sake. I of agree fucking with you. With me. Really? Because when you have a fucking drink and you drink one of those stupid cardboard oh, straws so and annoying. they turn into fucking mush, how about this? <laughs> they do turn into mush. How about this? When you go into surgery, fuck knuckles. Okay? Nice. You like these stupid fucking cardboard straws? I want your doctor, and for you to be okay with your doctor operating on you with a cardboard fucking uh what is it called Spider super chat <laughs> we need a wave we need a wave. Right, right. <laughs> i did it that's crazy smoking auditor sent you a super chat thank you smoking auditor and brandon says banana break out the shock collar oh no not gonna happen Really? Uh, unless you want to put it on yourself and make some money. They, wait, do people want to? Do people want me to no. wear it, or do they what, what want you to wear it? What was I saying? I don't know. We I was saying wave. something useless. Well, you always what say something card? useless, though. What was the card? <laughs> Straws. Oh yeah, have your surgeon <laughs> cut you open with a cardboard fucking scalpel. You wouldn't like it. Stop being so fucking stupid with your damn selves. <laughs> Moving on. It's my turn. Oh, we know it's yours. It's yours. No, you just rant you, so we have long. Equal rights. You rant so fucking long. People want you to get to the point sometimes. Maybe not. They like your rants. Maker's Mark. Yeah, we're drinking Maker's Mark. How'd you know? Okay, so this one's true. This one is true. Wait a second. Uh, famous people are happier than regular people. And and I do find myself like I understand that on the rung of fame, you I'm at the way, famous? way bottom. Okay, how many? Do you think you're famous? Okay, what happened to T-Mobile today? Oh my God, I'm not even gonna tell them. What happens? What happens quite often? I don't know what you're talking about. This uh, fool uh, is imagining things because he the, thinks um, he's amazing because he's got a little check mark next. I get recognized all the time. That being aside, that being aside, <laughs> on the rung of fame, I understand I'm way at the bottom. I'm like, yeah, I'm, but 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 I'm still there. <laughs> I'm like just below Andy Dick. Okay. You just wanted to say dick. Oh, yeah. yeah. But, and I'm more happy than most people, I would say. Except for right now when I'm happier than you and I'm not fucking famous at all. I'm like, you're like. But you're like the guy that's hanging out with Andy Dick. I'm you know the what woman. I mean? And I. Andy Dick doesn't have women. women. Um, young boys, maybe. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. <laughs> uh, so, I think famous people are usually happy. The most, And if they tell you, oh, it's a hard knock life. Bullshit. Um, I get, I get, we get fucking free shit. You know, like they treat us a little bit different. They give you someplace. free shit. See, that's what I'm saying. You don't see me complaining. Fucking, I'm happy. Moving on. Okay, except you seem like the fucking pessimist dumb fuck of the whole stream, being like an all oh, asshole and like, oh, the world's out to get me and men are better than women and oh, my life sucks. Well, one thing you said was true and it wasn't my life sucks and the whole world's out to get me. <laughs> oh my God. Moving on. Oh my god! Pow pow! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, catfishing someone should be punishable by law. I think that that it should be. I disagree. I disagree. Uh, Joe Orger got catfished, and I thought that was hysterical. Um, and if there's no, I, th I think it was fucked up. I think that it was bullshit. If there's no, I think that that fucking person is fucking scumbag. Okay, but if there's no financial crimes, like so, if you're catfishing someone to steal their money, that type of shit, then absolutely, I think you're a piece of shit. But notably, Nova's in the chat, and I know notably Nova, you know, isn't the most handsome motherfucker. You think that he notably Nova catfished somebody? I think he should. It'd probably help him get laid. Because he looks like he oh should be on God. FarmersOnly.com. As long as there's no there's no criminal criminal act to your fishing of the cats. I want to smack you right now. As long as there's no criminal act to the fishing of the cats. Nah, it's really fucked up, though. It's like, I mean, it's like 
it causes people like turmoil, like emotional fucking distress. Kind of like you with me right now. You should, this is unlawful right here. You wanted to sit down with me on a live stream and play a game called Hot Takes. I did. And you know what? It's enjoyable still. Yes. What are we in the fucking 17th century? Walk. You're the one waving your hand like a floofy little walk, woman. Walk with me hither. Flizza flava. Go ahead. Stop flipping Go ahead. your hand around Flip like and a fluffle fucking somewhere fucking else. Here. It's your turn. Oh, smoking auditor. What are you doing? Uh, You're going to die. Thank you, the smoking auditor. He's a shit. Oh, bro. I'm happier. Oh, See? Farlap. Farlap, don't. Don't you <laughs> fuck. Farlap, I will punch you back to fucking New Australia. Don't do it, Farlap. He's a highly trained dingo handler. He's not even from Australia. He You're is. just an asshole. And he left my chat to go to yours. Because he's my best friend. You said DMA's your best friend. DMA is my best you friend. You flip-flop. Like a fucking... I don't oh, even know. What a... What? Stop shushing me. I'm listen, not a cop. Listen. I can't. Stop talking. If you stop talking, you'll hear. Okay. The vibrating sound? Shh. Somebody's using Not a... that. Listen. Can you listen for a second? I am Shit. listening. Don't say anything. Shush. Shh. <laughs> yeah, I was just testing. She doesn't have the ability to shut the fuck up. I was right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> and I went again. <laughs> shut up. I shushed you. All right, uh, it's my turn now. No, it's not. It's my turn now. Oh, my God. Was that your you, turn? You don't even fucking pay attention to Was that your turn or It was my turn. turn. You fucking did right. the other... No! No, it might have been mine. It might have been your turn. Too. It was, asshole. <laughs> <sighs> hey, DMA. <laughs> the book is always better than the movie. That's bullshit. No one reads porn. Okay! Just saying. No, no, no. People do read porn. They They're shouldn't. Romance novels. Okay, romance novels. Yeah, like when you go to the supermarket and there's a picture of a cowboy in, in stirrup straps sitting in a fucking Pontiac. That's bullshit. Grandma don't need to be reading that. Grandma don't need to be coming back to the house moist. Everyone okay? can agree with me that books okay. are really so, fucking descriptive and detail. Yet. A really Thank descriptive you, and detail Thanks. that you just can't so get So the book in a is always... Film. Okay, I'll just let you interrupt me, and then you can talk, and then I'll try and go again. Oh, thanks. Okay, great. So the book is always better than the movie. Uh, that's bullshit, because I'll tell you one thing. Who wants to be doing this? Okay? And then uh, he went around He went around the corner, uh, and she pulled his pants down. Oh, I got to turn the page. Hold on. I got to put my balls down so I can turn the fucking page. Then the book closes on my dick. Fuck that! The book is not always better than the movie. The movie's easier. And the movie, guess what? A book's like 300 pages. Movie only got to be 10 seconds long, baby. Okay, yeah, but see, then you're thinking from a man's Thank you, big man. What's up, playboy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're thinking from a man's perspective, whereas for a woman, 300 pages is a hell of a lot better than 10 seconds because men are fucking selfish, and they're like, oh, it's okay to finish in 10 seconds when a woman That's why the good 300 fucking pages. See, you know, I'm not, I'm not worried about what happened at the end. Listen, I don't need to know what happens in the beginning, middle, or end. You know where my happy place is? The prologue, baby. That prologue. Right in the inside of the jacket of the book. Right there. And you know what it says there? Go to Pornhub. Okay? Your turn. Guys, we might be in a relationship right now, but I, this, is, this ain't fucking looking good. Long distance relationships can work. Um, look, they did they before can. this. They can because they it's once this. you're fucking sitting next to me that I want to fucking like you know kick you to the curb. You know. Sorry, did you say something? Oh my god! <sighs> it's your fucking turn. Go, bitch. Well, I'm a man. I should have more turns. At any minute now would be great. I, the people are waiting on you. You gotta find one that's worth me ranting on. <laughs> Maybe you ever think that people don't want to listen to you rant? Okay, Maury Povich. Let's discuss. <laughs> We're going to witness the divorce. 
Having a baby oh God. can save a relationship. You know what will save a relationship? Happiness. And you know what gets happiness? Money. So if you're popping out a baby so that way you can get paid by the state, then you can use that money instead of spending it on your baby to go down to Ruby Tuesdays and get the two for $19.99 special. And pop that baby out. Go to Maury Povich. Let him tell you when it comes to baby Jamari, you are not the father. And then she does the same thing every time. Oh, Maury! Oh, Maury! And she runs to the left. She <laughs> runs to the right. She runs back to the middle. I don't believe it, Maury! Uh, I don't know what that had to do uh, with anything, but... Have you ever been to Ruby Tuesday? No. Neither have I. I've never been to Ruby Tuesdays. <laughs> Neither have I. Um, but if you think a baby... His, if, oh to be real, God. though, to be real, um, if you can't stand each other, okay, why do you think a fucking baby would like you? So that they wouldn't. They wouldn't. They'd they be wouldn't. like, eh, I'll get the fuck away from me. Don't touch my butt. Don't change me. So let me tell you, you hear those babies screaming in like the grocery... grocery yeah, what they're saying is, I hate my fucking parents. Yeah, they're saying my parents Thanks, should fucking break up. Yes. Oh, thank you, Tiff. That's a, I had a baby crying earlier, and it was saying, my father's a drunk and my mother's a loose moral whore. <laughs> I heard that, too. That's crazy. <laughs> Are you getting hotter the more that you rant? Kids will change your life. They, they sure will. I mean, thank God if it wasn't for kids, it'd be no Prozac. <laughs> My God. Keep in mind, we both have children. And, and mine's love, old and enough we, to be what? I, I love you, buddy. And we love our children very mm -hmm. much. No, yeah, whatever you say. Oh, God. I sure hope your kids are not seeing this. They're, they're not. They're, 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 you Three hours have, later in You definitely have one old enough to, to watch this. <laughs> Arguments actually bring you closer in a relationship. Wow, good one. Trying to keep it in my rant. Say it, say it, say yours, babe. No, you're not gonna keep that one, then I'll keep it for later. You're not using that one? It's your turn. You didn't give your opinion. I did. Okay, arguments can actually bring you closer in a relationship. Closer. That's true. That's true. I see men and women beat the shit out of each other all the time. And and before the fight, they're like, oh, he's an asshole. He's a piece of shit. He was at a strip club and he had glitter from her boobies on his face. He's a piece of shit. And then dude's all like, where have you seen this? Hey, yo, that girl a hoe. She got a going on her in my house anymore. She sucks out loud. Pow, pow, pow. Ah! And then afterwards, they're telling the police that I love, I love him so much. I love him so much. He just punched me in the face. I didn't remember how much he loved me, but he reminded me twice, once in each eye. So, from my experience... That isn't your experience. My experience from witnessing uh, is that arguments uh, do bring people closer in a relationship. Or further apart. Closer. See? We're closer already. Beards make men more attractive. <coughs> I think that that can be true. Sometimes. Not all the time. Or closer to but a jail if, cell, Rebecca. But, but sometimes, especially if, you know, they don't got a lot of good face going on, or their chin looks fucked up, the beard makes it better. Did, jo <laughs> did Josh rob a Russian guy for his tracksuit? Yeah, it was your meth dealer, Nova. Oh my god. <laughs> I just get. By the way, um, I, Nova does not do math. I was just being an asshole. So yeah, I think everybody. <coughs> Where do you buy it? Yes, Nike? beards are sexy. Yeah, um, they can be. From Nike, uh, finishline.com. Finishline.com. Or is it? Yes, I will give it to you. Arguments gets you closer to divorce. I agree, Mister. For twenty. Yo, what up, cuz? <laughs> Yo, what up, cuz? We got DMA. Yeah. He's in my chat because he loves me more. 
Hey, Andrew. I have a beard that is thick on me. That's good, Andrew. The, the pink. People are saying things. Are you are you done grabbing the thing? I'm I need another drink. These are just no, we ones. did not wear green on purpose. I don't know what's happening. He tried to match. Okay, me. all right. Middle seat should get both armrests. I'm gonna fucking tell you something as someone from uh, that travels on airplanes all the fucking time. Here's how it goes. Aisle seat gets a bit of extra leg room and quarter the armrest. Middle seat gets two armrests. Right seat gets the aisle and a bit of extra leg room. And that window and a what bit aisle? of extra leg room. If you're sitting in the fucking middle, you get the fucking armrest. I've done this before, which is the reason I sit on the fucking aisle. Okay? Can see because half face on I don't other. care. Oh. Because I'm sitting in the middle. I'm sitting in the middle, and I know. I know what's going on. I know that I get two armrests and no leg room. The, the aisle gets a bit of extra leg room. Window gets window, a bit of extra leg room. I get both armrests. Guy's doing this. I go down, I reach below my seat, and he does this thing. He puts his fucking arm on my armrest. And we do this. We do this back and forth. And of course, I go like this. What? And he looks down and I go like this. And he's like, oh, I don't... I don't have any room. Well, then why just well, tough shit? Now, now you're really wishing that you were where you were before, don't you? So, you middle do that seat intentionally to rub up. Middle my seat boob? should get both armrests. You you're welcome. Me, you see what he did there? Go he ahead. like rubbed up on my boob. He did all that just so he could. <laughs> yeah. Let him know, G. <laughs> Gia, here's my neighbors. Okay. Santa's North Pole is just a glorified sweatshop. I agree with that. Um, well, what I think we should be talking about oh is God. Santa's Pole. <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. Oh, you bought the easy oh, button? Oh, hell yeah! Um, let, let me tell you something. Uh, Santa's uh, Pole? That song, I Saw Mommy Kissing Santa Claus... Why does no one want to talk about the fact that your mother's a fucking whore? Why are you using that, me as an armrest? Thank, uh, I get both armrests. Um, <laughs> why is no one willing to talk about the fact that mom's a fucking whore? Number one. Number two, he's like, I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus, and I'm a piece of shit, and I didn't tell my dad. You, you little fucking shit, should fucking burn in hell. All right? You, you know what comes The child? One, yeah. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Santa, Christmas isn't the only thing that's coming once a year. Santa is, and so isn't that little boy's whore fucking no, mother. Wait, wait a second. If it's, do you think it's every mom? Because if so, Santa's coming over and over. Santa's and over got herpes. And over. That's bad. He's a pedophile. Is that why his cheeks are so rosy red? Yeah, and he's always coming down. I mean, let me ask you a question. Say pedophile. Well, have, have your kids ever came to you and said? A guy with a big bag of cool treats. He had me sit on his lap and he had a white beard. He'd be like, oh my God, no, I saw him in the wall at the police station, but it's okay because it's Santa and mom's blowing him. Get the fuck out of here. That's really weird. Sorry. I don't think I'd be blowing a man with a white beard. News now, Santa just got 20 years, so. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Is it my turn or yours? Your turn. I thought I had the Santa pole one. This is for you. No, I, I'm gonna make fun of people that do that. No, but I mean, like, it's your turn. It's your turn. It's your turn. Are you, like, almost done with the game no, or it's what? Your like, turn. You look, no, I picked the pole. I picked the pole. Oh, the, you picked the pole. Yeah. I'm sorry. You want this one? No. Okay. There's <laughs> no Santa. Oh, my God. Okay. It's better. To receive cash on a birthday than gifts. This is fucking true. You you know what? Like, oh, it's more important to spend time choosing out a gift 
and having it be more important for your you know you know who that only makes feel better not me that makes you feel better so you can feel good about putting all this stupid thought into a stupid gift that I will never fucking use what? you know what I like fucking cash because I can buy all the shit that's boring to me that you think is exciting with fucking cash. I don't want any of your stupid shit. I want your money. Give me your money. What about all those times I made you a gift? What are you trying to say about that now? I wish it was cash. Yes. <laughs> okay, you hear it, folks. I'm not going to waste my time making him anything anymore. That flag blanket, you could just, like, give that to somebody who, who, who likes it. I like that one. Gift cards? No, I'll sell the gift cards and I'll get 80 cents on the dollar. Oh, okay, here we go. <clears throat> I'd rather be really short than extremely tall. I agree with that. If I was really short, it would be make it so much easier to do certain things. Do you have anything? Do you have a counteraction? Nope. Okay, all right. Your turn. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna, I'm a, guys. I'm gonna tell you something. You're such an ass. I'm gonna tell you something here. And <coughs> if this one hurts. I, I gotta, I gotta keep it real for my peeps. Restaurant food is better than home cooked meals. If you think that, watch, if, watch. If what you you're think about. that, it's because your wife is a shitty fucking cook. And that's just it. Your wife might be a wonderful person. She might be sweet and beautiful and kind and funny. But you chose a shitty fucking cook. You shouldn't go on a first date at Applebee's. You should go on a first date to Mrs. B's. Right to your girl's house. Have her cook up something. And understand that you could... When you date someone, there's always the possibility you could spend the rest of your life with this fucking chick. And if you tell her to do her very best and she throws a can of fucking peas at your head, run for the fucking door. But I'm telling you one thing, ladies. If you're a man, go home right now and be like... I'm really in the mood for something delicious tonight. Would you like to go out or would you like me to cook something? If he says, well, there's this new place down the street, your food tastes like shit. Sorry. I asked him if he wanted to eat at home tonight or if he wanted to go out. We he chose Wiener fucking schnitzel. Wiener Schnitzel. And I'm a fucking fantastic cook and baker and you're a fucking dick. Oh, <laughs> I got to poop. Oh my God. <laughs> Are you? No. Yes. No, I'm kidding. No, I'm, no I wasn't kidding. I'd rather be deaf yes, than blind. That is inaccurate. If, if I were blind, wouldn't have to deal with looking at you right now. I'd rather be fucking deaf because then I wouldn't have to hear your moans and whines. My moans? <laughs> Hey, really, my stop, moans? Like, stop, that's what you're gonna. Stop gonna... talking shit about me to the people on the street! Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna cut you I off. De I deserve that one. Go ahead. Go ahead, you can hit me on that. One. I don't even feel like hitting Go you. Go. I feel like, no. Pussy. No, I don't even Pussy. feel like hitting you. You're not Pussy. even worth my fucking time. Oh, whatever. I think somebody should make me feel better. With a super chat, no less. No, I didn't say that at all. I just said the thing to somebody. Get the fuck off of me. Get the fuck off of me. Read a fucking card. Oh, we're going to skip that one. <laughs> um, no. Being a... It's mine. <laughs> He's definitely not getting any tonight. I'm just saying. Oh, God. Or like, this is, for like at least a week. This is real bad. Okay, um... Being a stay-at-home mom is a full-time job. Brandon Mitchell hit you up. Thanks, oh, Brandon. Oh, thank you, Brandon. Being a stay-at-home mom is a full-time job. It absolutely is. And there's no harder or more important job out there. He's just fucking trying to fucking win your heart. He's had this conversation with me on the side. Just fucking... You fucking said some shitty shit back there, and now you're trying to fucking make up for it. And they just... Get out of here. Oh, my God. Help, guys. 
Yes, arguments don't bring you closer. I was wrong about that one. I'm going to cut you off of the whiskey. It's your fucking turn. I just chose I'm the... too fucking heated to I just pull chose another one. Pick one. A stay-at-home mom is the most important job Shut the I've fuck had. up. Wish I could be a stay-at-home mom. Shut the mom. fuck up. See, I can't even be like honest from my heart. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> oh, what does that mean? mean? <laughs> well, I, didn't even, I didn't even move. What does that mean? S A H M? I don't fucking know. Why are you fucking talking no, to me like, like that? What the fuck? Please? Yeah, you do. Being Tyler- likable and charismatic is more powerful than being smart. That's true. Yeah. Because, because you can be the smartest smart. person in the fucking world, but if everyone fucking hates you, no one will listen to a goddamn idea that you have. But if you're likable, you're sure of yourself, and you have a goddamn winning smile, ding, then you could have a hundred plus thousand people following you. When you lie and say a stay-at-home mom is the best. When, when you can't lie and admit that being a stay-at-home mom is the most important job in the world. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the, the, the stream froze. You're supposed to, you're supposed to stay. All right, two more. Two more. Well, because you're a man and you get to fucking decide? That too. Let the fucking people decide. All right, then it's your show. You tapped out? Getting there. All right. I only have so many hot takes. Don't I know it. Hot tacky. Hot tacky tacky loomba. Once a cheater, always a cheater. I agree. Because once you cheat, you're always a cheater. It's just like fucking bottom line. All right. Your turn. You agree? Hello? What? 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 Just go. I can't. Forks are better than spoons. Oh, God. Well, why would you spoon when we can fork? Yeah. My God. Do better, bud wanted to use that today. I, I did, you, I did it. You twice. wanted to wait for the perfect moment. <laughs> Sweet tea is a bad girl. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying? Go, go, hey, go! I was reading the fucking comment! Okay. My God. Oh, wait, no, this is a good one. There is nothing that comes after death that's a lie. What comes after death is a bunch of shit out of the body. After you die. Okay, your turn. That's accurate. Last one I'm taking. Oh my god. Psychics and mediums are legit. Psychic and mediums are the people that weren't duly diagnosed by their therapist and didn't have to get medicated for having schizophrenia. Hot talky. That wasn't very good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go now. You um, don't, you don't want to pull another one. I mean, you fucking like that was a letdown for people. On that. Okay, you fine. can't leave, leave them on that. You need a good one. I mean, that one was fucking dull. I mean, I love you, but damn, do better. Okay, bud. here we go. Do better, but Apple Maps is better than Google Maps. It is. He's this is it. not fucking true. He's seen it. This. You're lying now. You've seen it for yourself. But continue. Go on. This is not fucking true. Apple Maps will say, you have three hours, 13 minutes, and 12 seconds to your destination. Two minutes later, it will say, you have seven minutes to your destination. Apple Maps has no fucking clue what it's doing. Apple Maps is like a guy with a lisp giving you GPS instructions. Go to the look, 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 you, you, you turn, you turn, rerouting. Your stream is seeing the corner of your mouth. Rerouting. That's what Apple Maps is. It's like having a guy with a fucking lisp 
or fucking stutter, read your fucking directions. You know what you can trust? You don't need Google Maps fucking either. You don't need Waze or, or, or whatever or fucking... All you have to do is go to a really small town with a population less than 50. Find a gas station attendant who looks exactly like his fucking sister. Okay? They're, mo- they're probably kissing. They're definitely kissing. With tongue? With tongue. Oh my God! They're gonna be wearing overalls and suspenders, and they're gonna be named. They're gonna be named Jeb. Is the woman that, pregnant? Probably. Okay. They're gonna be named Jeb. That's who you should ask for directions right before you see the hills have eyes too. Catch you on the next one. Wee Wouting, you turn, you turn. This is where we pause. So we'll catch you on the next one. That's the reason I stopped you today. Did you? You got? Oh, thank you, Ross. How you doing, sweetheart? Oh. Gotcha. We didn't leave yet. <laughs> we'll catch you in the next one, Ross. Glad to see you back. Love you guys so much. Uh, that's the reason I stopped you today. Do better, Budden. <laughs> what up, son?